Hello YouTubers and YouTubettes, welcome back to another episode. So today I'm going to be taking the red lead oxide out of a battery, and um, which is in here, and I'm going to be turning it into litharge and then into gray lead oxide. And so in these bags here is the gray lead oxide from a battery, and then in here is the red ones. So the red ones have... Um, lead 2 and 4 oxide the gray ones have just lead 2 oxide and so um, what I'm doing is in this bucket uh, I've got just water and then all the red um, plates and all their grids and everything in here and so I've got this post in here that I'm just jamming up and down to break yeah. away the lead oxide and the lead metal to separate them to make it easier and so then I'm gonna get pour this bucket out and then um, separate the lead and the lead oxide itself apart as best as I can and then I'll start into the next process um, and I'll show you that when I get there so here's a little paper I wrote a little while back and um, basically it says what this is how they did it back in the days of old um, and so, yeah, pause it here, and so that way you can read this if my phone will ever stop zooming in and out. Stupid fucking phone. I wish I never would make, never change your phone to where back when you used to be able to set your own focus. I hate it now. Autofocus is the worst. So, here's my red lead in here. And so, um... What I do is I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to strain it out and then I'm going to throw it into this little teapot and then in, once it's in the teapot I'm going to put it over there in that uh, kiln I made which has the fire burning in it right now um, and so it's going to go in there and part of this reaction takes a lot of oxygen and so the oxygen helps with it to change oxide forms and um so by heating it up it'll change to one form and then if you heat it up too much it'll decompose but it'll always decompose back to gray oxide and um so then uh once you find your temperature range which you want you hold it there and that way it'll change to that form with that white sheet of paper that i just showed you that will give you your temperature ranges to shoot for um but the temperatures or the times that that uh, sheet shows, you don't have to go to those times. You can literally see the difference um, in it whenever you check on it for a little while. Just give it a stir, and then you'll be able to tell the differences in there. But anyways, I'll get the oxide into here, and I'll show you what's up from there. All right, so you can see, got it in there now, and uh, gonna go over to the fire. And I'm going to make a flat spot in there so this can set good without going too crazy. And then I'll show you that part. Alright, so you can see I got the lid open so you can see it in there a little bit. Um, but got it in the fire. It's nice and hot. The bottom of it's pretty pink or red. Uh, camera doesn't really show it very good. But uh, it's been in there for mm, half hour, 45 minutes so far. And, uh, that's where I'm at. Hey, so, it's been about two hours now. And you can see, it's turned yellow from red. I mean, there's still a little bit of red remnants in there. But I'm going to pull it out. And I'm calling that good. Pull Alright, it's out of my kiln now. And, uh, give it a good stir. See what it looks like. It's more like a, almost a peach color, I'd say. But either way, this is litharge now. And uh, so that's how you make litharge without adding any kind of chemicals or anything. I literally took it from the battery, rinsed it with water, put it in this pot, and cooked it in, in a fire, in a kiln fire. Yeah. And I stirred it a couple times in the fire. But that's it. That simple. Alright, well. Until next time.